Boom Shakalaka, what is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love, and today it's hump day. We have an episode about Wozniak finally joining the blockchain, Satoshi's vision of Bitcoin being enacted, and the CFTC criticizing smart contracts. Now, before we get into things, guys, mixed bag of reds and greens behind me, but thank you for subscribing. Thank you for mashing on the like button. Guys, if you want to win a shirt, comment on this for every video to enter for your chance to win. Also, pause the video, read the disclaimer, don't be a dummy. Now, coin market cap today, $210 billion, pretty much the same as yesterday. Bitcoin dominance dropped a little bit to 53.7 from 54%. And where are we at otherwise? Well, Bitcoin's at 65.36, a little bit of a drop from the 67, 6800 we were seeing. Ethereum at 207, XRP at 46 cents, Bcash at 448, EOS at 539. Seller 24 cents. Tether still 97 cents, not fully recovered up to a dollar. The big winners for today Odyssey up huge 38%. Zero X up 19%. Basic attention token up 15%. Big losers for today Eternal Token, Electronium, and R Chain. Now, taking a look at Bitcoin, we were in this descending triangle for a while. Looks like we broke out of it potentially. Are we getting a reversal in the overall market trend? We will have to see. Definitely have to see if there's some volume that helps support this or if it's going to come back down and just keep heading sideways. So that's one thing we'll be looking for. Now, in the news today, Apple pioneer Steve Wozniak has co-founded a blockchain investment firm. That's right. He joined Equi Global, Equi Global, all right? A VC fund built on blockchain technology. Now, they're going to be scouting for technology companies that will be the tech stars of the future using all the experience that Wozniak has under his belt from uh, working with Apple for as long as he did. So he thinks that this could prove to be a game changer. Uh, starting the company is one of the most exciting things. And guess what? Guess what? You can even buy investors can buy equi tokens in order to join the VC fund. They will, have the, they will have the freedom to sell these tokens on external cryptocurrency exchanges to liquidate their investments. Pretty interesting. If you want to be part of that investment fund, you can buy the tokens. Probably KYC only open up to, uh, you know, it'll be a security token, something like that, maybe. We'll see. Or it could be, I guess it could be a utility, but not really. So there's that news. So Wozniak getting in on blockchain. We're seeing a lot of big names joining blockchain. And there's good reason, because it's pretty badass. Also, guys, Satoshi's vision. Finally. I mean, there was Bitcoin, which, you know, kind of Satoshi's vision. Then there was Bcash, which was Satoshi's vision, according to Roger Ver. Now, finally, for the love of God, we have Bitcoin SV version 0.1, Satoshi's vision. All right, so the leading blockchain tech research development outfit, Enchain, has rolled out the release of their candidate of the Bitcoin SV client on October 15th one month ahead of the, net, the November Bcash network upgrade. So Bcash miners and mining pools are encouraged to use Bitcoin SV, which is supposed to be Satoshi's original vision. We all know that Bcash is doing a lot of work trying to convince people that's Satoshi's original vision. Well, let's ask Satoshi. He doesn't have anything to say. So basically, Satoshi's vision is a new full node implementation for Bcash designed to fulfill the vision set out by Satoshi in the Bitcoin original white paper. Uh, other than that, it includes different things like re-enabling a lot of the op codes like op mul, op invert, op l shift, op r shift, and the maximum size of accept blocks has also been increased from 32 megabytes off limit to 128 megabytes. Additionally, the release has streamlined to focus on its core business, to, uh, its core audience of business by disabling features meant for home users such as GUI and Windows support. Basically, uh, Steve Shatters, the technical director, says it's time for Bitcoin to professionalize. Okay, we don't need all these plebs in here. Okay, let's professionalize it. Bitcoin SV is targeted at business users, primarily miners, but also cryptocurrency exchanges and merchants. By eliminating unnecessary features, we can keep the development focus on what really matters to our core user base. I don't know what that's going to do for mass adoption, considering most people won't be able to use it, but we'll kind of have to see. Also, they've done some stuff to help protect against malicious peer behavior, behavior, notably the infinite block attack. 
Also in the news today, the CFTC official talks about smart contracts. All right, the accountability of smart contracts. So he's talking about smart contracts. And in particular, he's talking about how they're self-enforcing and operating without further intervention. But he talks specifically about predictive data. Because with smart contracts and predictive data, you could uh, nefariously enable insider trading. So with these smart contracts, you could have some type of insider trading going on. They don't want that stuff to happen. They don't like those predictive markets. So CFTC giving their, I guess, thumbs down about smart contracts. Will that affect Ethereum? Eh, we'll see. Bitfinex was in the news recently, still in the news. I mean, Tether's only 97 cents, supposed to be a dollar, but main reason for that drop in price, or one of the main reasons, was Bitfinex declaring insolvency with their bank HSBC. HSBC. Well, now Bitfinex shifts its banking business to Hong Kong-based Bank of Communications. That is right. Um, funny enough, the Bank of Communications is partly owned by HSBC, which is, you know, Bitfinex's previous bank, but uh, Bitfinex previously conducted their business with HSBC. Also, Wells Fargo refused uh, Bitfinex. They don't like those fiat trading pairs, but now that Bitfinex has this agreement with Bank of Communications, soon the Bitfinex announced the introduction of a new, improved, increasingly resilient fiat deposit system. The new deposit process will enable KYC compliant customers from around the world to conduct deposits on the four previously suspended fiat currencies. Deposit requests will be reviewed within 48 hours while the deposit itself will be processed within 6 to 10 business days. Mm, sounds like traditional banking, doesn't it? Yeah, takes a long freaking time. That's why crypto is rad because you can have it now. You could have it yesterday. It's streaming money. That's what Andreas says. I'm just going to keep saying what he says because that makes me sound smart. Now, the biggest lawsuit in cryptocurrency yet has been settled or taken off the calendar. Today's the day of quotations. It's Wednesday, hump day. The $152 million lawsuit over blockchain betting startup Augur is settled. That's right. So in April... Uh, uh, there was a lawsuit. The plaintiff, Michael Liston, 26, and the defendants, Jack Peterson, 35, Joseph Charles Crew, 22, and Jeremy Gardner, 2. I think that's probably wrong. Probably, but maybe he's two years old. I don't exactly know. Uh, he basically sued them over Augur, stating that uh, he accused the defendants of freezing his stakes from Augur's ICO, which raised $5.3 million. Now, the case has uh, been dismissed, or as... Uh, in legal terms, they took it off the calendar, which in legal terms means be done with it. We're not interested. We're not putting, we're not, we're not hearing it. So they kind of have to have an off court deal with the defendants. $152 million lawsuit. Boom. BTCC plans to launch in Korea. So this Chinese exchange, the first Bitcoin exchange in China, BTCC, now, formerly known as BTC China, okay, they're launching trading services in South Korea. Now, we all know South Korea has a lot of interest in cryptocurrency. Great place for them to go. Previously, there were issues with exchanges in South Korea, but draft legislation has been in the works in the country to reclassify exchanges as crypto asset exchange and brokerage, thereby recognizing them as regulated financial institutions as opposed to the previous classification as communication vendors. Man, I told you it's the day of quotes. So, big news for BTCC. And last little piece of news for you guys, billionaire Mike Novogratz, who was responsible for the Novogratz pump right before the beginning of the bear market, this one here on November 11th or thereabouts, he bought in right here and boom, shot stuff up to the moon. So billionaire Mike Novogratz, his crypto fund is Fidelity's first custodian account. So we saw yesterday in the news Fidelity opening their trading decks, desks to cryptocurrency where a lot of people could buy cryptocurrencies, $7.2 trillion in assets. Mike Novogratz is going to be the first custodial client. And like Eric Voorhees says, even if every Fidelity customer wanted to own a Bitcoin, they couldn't. 
there's 27 million customers, there's only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoin. That's why you hold your Bitcoin. So that's good news. I guess he's getting involved there. Fidelity, first critical client, all that stuff. So guys, if you want to get this news in your email box, in addition to hearing to me, me say it, just go to crypto-love.com, sign up there, enter your email address. Simple as that. We give away a ledger every month. We just give away our first one. We are on to the second one, so enter to win there. Also, guys, I have been trading with Signal Profits. It has been awesome. I just want to show you guys real fast one of these trades I have been involved in recently. Where is it? It is called Ravencoin. Okay, in the past two days, it's up 50%. Today, up 33.75%. Where's the chart? Here it is. Boom. Bought in right down here, all the way up there, thanks to Signal Profits. So I've been enjoying that, getting daily trading signals. Check it out. There's a link down in the description. You get two weeks for seven bucks with that link. So check it out. Go sign up today. And that is it for today. So let's give away a shirt. One video yesterday, the news video. And let's see how many comments. 65 comments. One of those commenters will be the winner of one of these super awesome Crypto Love T-shirts. Oh my gosh. Crypto Fix. Looking forward to the Signal Profits video. Good stuff as always. Well, Crypto Fix, I will start making that video on how to use Signal Profits because obviously... More people need to use it. Again, check out the link down in the description. Crypto fix, email me at the email on my bio page. I will send you a t-shirt anywhere in the world. All right, love you guys. Peace.